This is my accident bin. Every single hospital band, the clothes I was wearing, let me know if you wanna see those. Those were cut off my body. But more importantly, my skulls, both of my skulls. This is my real life skull. It's actually really cool because there's grooves where my veins were in my head. All the neural pathways that were made by my brain and engraved into the skull. These little divots are called burr holes and this is the first effort to try to reduce the swelling in my brain the night of the accident. We obviously know how that went. After the skull was taken out, I spent two months without it. And what came after that was this. And this one smells really bad. This is the first implant and whew, I can't even smell, but I just, I can taste it. And you'll see why it had to be replaced because the way these two line up. It's almost perfect, except every gap you see was a gap in my skull that led straight to my brain. So this gap right here was a hole in the back of my head, which ultimately led to me having to get a third brain surgery on March 19, 2021, where they replaced this implant with the current implant I have in right now was made by Stryker, a material designed by NASA called polyether ether ketone. 